Welcome to the Bentex 7X Sheet Metal Pick Points tutorial. This video will show how to create pick points in the sheet metal interface, transfer them to assembly along with the part, and dimension them as needed. From the task menu screen, start by selecting the sheet metal plate icon. Then maximize the screen and select the incremental option from the left. Next, type 16 into the X field and 12 into the Y field. Then click on the origin in the display screen to place the first point in the design. Now select the line tab and the rectangle two points option. Finally, click on the origin point followed by the new point to create the rectangle. Next, we're going to place a few more points that we will eventually turn into pick points that can be used in the assembly interface. So switch to the point tab and select the intersection option. Then select the leftmost line followed by the top line to place the point. Now select the rightmost line followed by the bottom line to place another point. To add points along the center locations of the lines, select the entity center option from the left. Then click on each line individually to place four new points as seen here. Now we'll add a new flange to the base in order to show how we'll place pick points on that as well. Start by going to the Part tab and selecting the .25 material from the Material drop-down menu. Then select the Define Flange button to define the plate. Clicking the Display button above three times in a row will show the part in a 3D view. Now return to the Design mode by clicking the Display button an additional two times. Now select the Bends button to add an additional flange onto the base flange. From here, type 45 into the bend angle field below and select the new button and click just outside the right side of the rectangle. A new window will appear prompting you to name the new flange. Simply leave the name as is and select the OK button. Now switch to the definition tab and click on the define all button. Checking the display again will show the part with both flanges now defined. Now select the green flanges list button and select flange 2 from the list to assign it as the flange we'll be working on. Then select the create tab and the miscellaneous sub tab to locate the pick points function. The pick points function will automatically be activated so start selecting all four of the corners on flange 2 to place the pick points. It should be noted that these points will be placed on the bottom side of this flange. Since these will only be placed on the base side of the flange, we'll also show how to place pick points on the top side of the flange as well. To do this, type in a negative value in the point depth field based on the thickness of your material. In this case, we'll type in a negative 0.25. Then select each of the four corners on flange 2 once again. When you're finished with flange 2, select the base flange from the flanges list above to assign it as the next flange we'll be working on. Still under the pick point tab, and without making any changes to the point depth value, click each of these seven points on the base flange to place pick points there. When you're finished, type a zero in the point depth field to the left and click on each of these points once more to place them on the bottom side of the plate this time. Finally, the part is now ready to be transferred, so check the 3D display once more to make sure we haven't interfered with any of its geometry, and click on the transfer button above. Then click on the new assembly option from the list and the prepare for assembly window will appear. Start by maximizing the screen and you'll be able to see all the pick points that we've placed on the part. Here, you can also rotate the part around any of the three axes and assign a coupler location where the part will be anchored to another pick point in the assembly interface. When you're satisfied with the orientation and anchor location for the part, simply select the OK button to enter the part into the assembly design. A window will ask you to name the part, so just leave the name as is and click OK. Place the part in the design by clicking once on the TriStar. A copy of the plate will still be attached to your cursor in case you want to make multiple copies, so just switch to the Pick Points tab to get rid of it. Thank you. 
In the main tab, you'll be able to paste a copy of the part into the design by simply selecting the part from the list, followed by the paste button below, and click on a new point to add it into the design. Now, switch to the Dimensions tab and get ready to place dimensions in the design. In this tab, select the Single button to create a single line dimension between two points in a three-click process as shown here. For multiple point dimensions, select the Multiple button and click on two points that are not on the same plane. To delete the dimensions from the design, select the Delete button, then click on the dimension itself to remove it. It may be easier to see some dimensions if you change the display from above. Also, clicking on the 2D Mode button will show your part and allow you to dimension it in three different views. Here, you can get dimensions for horizontal, vertical, and linear straight dimensions along with angles for the inside and outside of angled bends. Thank you for participating in our Bentec 7X Sheet Metal Pick Points tutorial. For more tutorials and informational videos, be sure to subscribe below and follow us on Facebook. Also, feel free to visit our website or email us at support at ben-tech.com.